Hi friends, welcome to my another video. Today in this video, I will discuss how to calculate the circuit breaker rating, contactor rating and the OLR rating for a particular motor in a DOL starter or direct online starter. So let's start. In any of my upcoming video, I will discuss how to do the calculation for the circuit breaker rating, contactors rating and the OLR rating in star delta starter as the contactor rating in the DOL starter and in the star delta starter is quite different. I took an example and in that example I took the rating of the motor is 37 kilowatt. Here is the name plate of this motor. The rating of the motor in kilowatt is 37 kilowatt. In HP it is 50 and the full current rating of the motor is 69 ampere. Okay, the power factor is 0.85 and the efficiency of the motor is 90 percent and it is a three phase motor these are the information is important to understand the concept behind that raised question now our motto is to calculate the rating for this circuit breaker then we have to calculate the rating of this contactor and then we will calculate the rating of the overload relay from the nameplate detail it is very clear that the motor rating is 37 kilowatt and the full load current for the motor is 69 ampere. You can also calculate the full load current of the motor by using this formula. The circuit breaker rating will be always 1.25 times to 1.5 times of the full load current. Here I took the multiplication factor as 1.25 which is also called the safety factor. So I took the safety factor as 1.25. So the circuit breaker rating will be 1.25 into the full load current that is 69 ampere then the circuit breaker calculated rating came as 86.25 ampere but as we know well that the circuit breakers are coming in the standard size so we have to select a circuit breaker which is just higher than our calculated circuit breaker rating so when we will refer the circuit breaker selection chart we will find that the next higher reading uh, rating of the circuit breaker is 100 ampere so we will select a circuit breaker of 100 ampere Apart from the circuit breaker rating that is 100 ampere, I wrote one thing that is C type that the MCCB is C type. What does it mean? Let us understand this one. Here you see that the MCB or MCCB are coming in different types like class A type, class B type, class C type, class D type, class K type and class Z type. These all class are called curve rating of the circuit breaker and this rating is very important for MCB and MCCB because these curve rating giving the MCCB or MCB to not trip at the time of starting even though the current in the circuit breaker is more than its rated current. Let me explain this one. Suppose I have a circuit breaker of 32 ampere and curve rating is C. So what does it mean? Suppose this circuit breaker fading a motor and motor taking at the time of starting 65 ampere of current. Okay. Then at the time of starting motor taking high inverse current which is greater than the circuit breaker rating so what will happen circuit breaker will trip but we know that this 65 ampere inverse current at the time of starting is temporary which will vanish just in three to four seconds so due to this curve rating of the circuit breaker the circuit breaker will hold this 65 ampere of current at the time of starting for some interval of time and it will not let the circuit breaker to trip which is our desired requirement so the curve rating will hold the inverse current at the time of starting and based on the class like class A type will hold the current up to 2 to 3 times. Class B type hold the current of 3 to 5 times of its rated current. Class C type 5 to 10 times of its rated current. D type 10 to 20 times of its rated current. K type 8 to 12 times and Z type 2 to 3 times. For the induction load it is recommended to use class C type curve rating MCB or MCCB because the inductive load take around 8 times of the full load current when the induction motor starts and here in our example the motor is induction motor that's why I took the type of the MCCB is C type hope you understood this one after calculating the circuit breaker rating let us calculate the contactor rating as we know that the full load current of the motor is 69 ampere the contactor rating also will be 1.25 to 1.5 times of the full load current so here the contactor rating will be 1.25 times of 
69 ampere that is the full load current then the value came as 86.25 ampere the next available standard size of the contactor is 95 ampere so we selected a contactor of rating 95 ampere hope you understood this one now i wrote after the rating ac3 ac3 is also the type of the contactors like in circuit breaker c type is a type of the mccb or mcb so let us understand what this ac3 stand for which is called its utilization category for different application of load we have different types of contactor like for ac1 type of contactor is used for resistive load ac2 type contactor is used for slipping motors ac3 type contactor is used for spiral cage motor and ac4 type contactor is used for the spiral type motor only but with the quenching operation what is quenching operation meaning motor will start and stop very frequently within a minute it will start two to three times and again it will stop so that operation is called quenching operation as we selected here the motor which is the induction motor and the spiral cage type that's why i selected the contactor type is ac3 after calculating the contactor rating now let us calculate the rating of overload relay overload relay not coming in a fixed value like mcb like breakers and contactors overload relay is coming in a range like 2 ampere to 4 ampere 10 ampere to 12 ampere or 15 ampere so we have to calculate the rating of the overload relay in a range the basic rule to calculate the overload relay range is that we have to take 20 percent less than the motor full load current and we have to take the 20 percent more than the full load current so here i calculated the 20 percent less than the full load current of the motor and 20 percent more than the full load current of the motor when we will do the numerical calculation then we will get the olr rating as 55.2 ampere to 82.8 ampere so we have to select an overload relay from the selection chart which having the current ampere rating between 55.2 ampere to 82.8 ampere from this selection chart we can see that here it is written rating of the induction motor and here the motor ratings are given so when we will scroll down there is a motor rating that is 37 kilowatt and the ampere rating range for the olr is given 57 to 75 our calculated our calculated overload relay current rating is 55.2 to 82.8 ampere but from the selection chart we got an overload relay which having the current rating of 7, uh, 57 ampere to 75 ampere which is in between its range so we will go for that olr now this is the selection of the overload relay but at which value we will select the olr uh, overload relay in order to protect the motor from olr as we know that the full load current of the motor is 69 ampere so we can say that any current after 69 ampere will be considered overload current for this motor right so we have to select the olr less than the 69 ampere as any current after 69 ampere will be considered as a overload current for this motor the basic funda to select to set the olr is to select the olr between 80 to 90 percent of the full load current so here i took in between that is the 85 percent of the full load current of the motor the full load current of the motor is 69 ampere so 85 percent of 69 ampere is 58.65 ampere in the overload relay there will be a dial where it is mentioned 57 ampere and minimum rating 57 ampere and the maximum rating as per the selection 75 ampere and in between there are some more values written between 57 and 75 we will set the dial to 58.65 ampere so this overload relay will be set at this value now we have calculated the breaker rating which is 100 ampere contactor rating which is 95 ampere and the olr range that is 57 ampere to 75 ampere for a motor of 37 kilowatt i hope you clearly understood this topic if you will find this video informative then please hit thumbs up and subscribe to my channel please share this video with your electrical friends please react in the comment section how you find this video and what are the improvements required in the video we will meet in any other video till then take care keep learning and bye bye thank you so much